Hey guys, what's up? I'm playing Minecraft 1.8. Jeb on Twitter leaked it accidentally, not really, to all us Minecraft players to help him find bugs and I've already started playing and to tell you the truth, I've already seen quite a few bugs. Um namely one of them being the furnace doesn't work. Whenever you put something into the furnace, it basically crashes. So um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run through uh, this 1.8 world that I just made. This is not the one that I'm going to be working on because for one reason I don't really like it. But uh, yeah, so this is, I'm just going to walk through, show off some stuff maybe. I haven't found everything. Actually, I haven't found a lot of the stuff. Um, I haven't found ravines. I haven't found the mine the mine shafts, I guess, uh, the the silverfish, I saw an enderman, but I wouldn't know where to find them, uh, watermelon, haven't seen that, um, so yeah, um, another thing I should tell you guys is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart on 1.8, because, because there's so many new things that are coming out for Minecraft 1.8 and 1.9, um, I'm pretty sure that I don't want to continue my old world because there's so many new blocks that haven't generated and I don't really want to walk far away enough to have them generate. It's, I think it's best for me to go ahead and uh, restart and to have the new biome settings and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I plan to do. Um, I'll probably start that in the next episode and that will probably be when the f final release is because this is to be honest this is way too buggy for uh showing off on YouTube you know to start a let's play and stuff even though technically I could start off my world now I really don't want to worry about that until it's uh bug free or at least for the most part bug free so um as you can see this is the new uh title screen it's basically just a really blurry background of Minecraft that swirls around. Um, got the logo up here and everything. Uh, Minecraft Beta 1.8 pre-release. So I think they were planning to do this the whole time. I think they probably knew they were going to do it once. Uh, I, came, I think it was Notch that said they don't release on Fridays, and this came out on Friday, so pretty interesting but let's go ahead and start so I'm in here in a cabin that I made so actually there's a few things I can go ahead and show you right now we've got we've got these panes of glass right here so instead of it being a full block a, a pane of glass is now basically a 2D sheet of glass and it's made by. I'll show you. So you take like that, and then you got your glass panes. That makes 16 of them. So, to be honest, I think it's actually pretty um, useful because that goes from six blocks of glass to. 16 panes of glass. I mean, they take up the same space, even though one's 2D and one's 3D, but it definitely helps save resources. I always thought that glass was an expensive uh, block because it takes up coal to make, or lava, or wood, or whatever. It takes up that, and then you, sand is, you know, it's not too hard to find, so that's not really the deal. And then, and it just crashed but I'll continue talking um, and uh, what was I saying let's see oh when you destroy when you destroy glass you don't get the piece back so uh, yeah so it's pretty expensive I'm just gonna log back in right now yeah I was hoping that wouldn't happen but it did 
And another thing I noticed is the um, full screen key combination for at least the Mac is not working. That's option function in F11. That's not working. Oh, another thing, uh, as you might be able to tell, my voice and my sniffles, uh, I am sick a little bit. Um, it's not fun, but yeah. So that's the pane of glass. Let me see. I don't think there's anything new in here other than that. Um, at the bottom, you can see a you can see the hearts you can see some little chicken legs you can see this bar with green stuff and then you can see the item bar the chicken bar is the food bar hunger bar so when that is full when it is full you have the ability to regenerate health so right now my health is all the way high so I don't really need it, but um, if I were you know down to like two hearts or something, and my hunger bar were full, has to be like pretty much full to regenerate health. It would eventually go back up to full hearts. Um, if your hunger bar is all the way down, you actually start losing health. And I think that goes all the way down to half a heart. And so that's how the hunger bar works. Another thing that I notice is. If you kill a zombie, you get zombie flesh, and you can eat that, you can eat zombie flesh. But the interesting thing is that the hunger bar glows like this weird green color. I don't really know what it means yet, but it seems like it could be some interesting mechanic that I don't really know about. Um, maybe that will be explored by someone else, because um, right now I'm not too interested, but it does seem kind of interesting. I know that sounds contradictory, but yeah. So that's uh, the user interface, the new user interface. Uh, here's a quick thing in Sprint. You double tap W. And basically, it changes the field of vision, makes you go a little faster, and you can jump further. So watch. You can jump over that. Oh, I missed. Wow. I'm not very good at jumping, obviously. Or sprinting. There, see? Normally I would not be able to make that jump because it is three wide. Technically you can make it four wide, but uh, I was cutting it pretty close that time, so I don't know. Uh, let's actually go into that cave because there's something that uh, is really cool. As you may or may not know, Notch worked a lot on the lighting, and I have to say I am extremely impressed with it. Um, basically, you have two different uh, hue, uh, you have a hue spectrum, I guess, for lighting. You have your very cool colors, which come from the sun, uh, and then you have your warm colors, which come from the torches. and so you can see on these stones right here, it looks fairly cool, a little blue hue, I guess. And then back in there, you can see it much. It's much warmer. Actually, uh, yeah. So the torches give off a warmer hue, and the further away, the warmer it gets. And so let's say if this were, see, it's very warm over here. It just it looks beautiful when you're exploring a cave that you have haven't put torches in yet. I've already put torches throughout this whole thing, I think. But yeah, it's it's absolutely awesome. Yeah, here's some. I have a few more torches left. So it gets warmer as you get farther away. It looks like I've hit a dead end. did find some fire. Awesome. And a zombie. Uh, some other things to show, show you what, actually, let me get out of here first. Um, yeah, as I was saying earlier, I haven't found everything 
Um, I watched uh, the Yogg's Cast videos, and uh, it seems like really cool stuff, but I don't have any mods right now to uh, show off that stuff or any server commands or anything like that. It's just me playing a vanilla Minecraft 1.8. So I, I'm sorry I can't show you that stuff, but uh, in my new Let's Play, I'm sure I will eventually get to everything. Well, if you look here, this you can see this is a very uh, it's an odd color. It's kind of purplish. I guess that's because of the nighttime. Now it's night. See, it turns very. I guess I guess this would still be a cool color, purple. Yeah, purple's still a cool color. Not cool isn't awesome, but cool isn't... Well, I mean, purple's pretty awesome. But you guys have the point. So the, the lighting is just absolutely amazing. It's, I was... That was the thing I was most impressed with, is the lighting. It, it like, really changes the game. I thought that, um... The uh, shadows... When he introduced the shadows that weren't, or that were like progressive or whatever. When he introduced those, I thought those were cool. But this lighting just, it's, it's ridiculous how awesome this is. Um, so let me show you off some settings. I don't know if all of them are new, but I, I think I know which ones are. The field of view, that is new. So you go all the way from normal, that's what you used to play on in Minecraft. And then you can go all the way the Quake Pro. And I'll show you what that looks like. That looks crazy. I think it would look better on a widescreen, but, uh, yeah, see, look at that. Like this, this is a 90 degree angle, but it doesn't even look like it. But, I mean, it's still cool. But I like playing on like 80, because I think I think it gives uh, it gives a wider angle to view stuff in, and I think that's always better. It's always better to see more on your screen, so that's good. What else is there? Um, let's see, performance. I think that is new. I have it on max FPS because my computer is two years old and it's and it's uh, not the best gaming computer. Uh, so I know all you all you Windows users are laughing at me right now because I'm using a MacBook Pro, but I mean it still does a whole lot more than you know integrated graphics on Windows computers do. So um, uh, yeah, I probably just started a flame war, but that's okay. Just leave that in the comments. Uh, I think the rest of this brightness that's new. Brightness, you can have a moody, which I guess is the darkest one. I guess that uh, accentuates the lighting because now this looks really warm because it has the uh, torch inside. That actually looks really awesome. Wow. I mean, there's, there's just so many cool things about the lighting in this game. I can't talk about it enough. But I like having it on bright because uh, I can see more. But I guess it's a little unrealistic because this is actually fairly bright for a night sky. I might actually turn that down then. Let's see, 50%. That sounds good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it's a good happy medium. Um, there's also new fighting mechanics. I think that's a skeleton over there, so I'll try to fight it. You can run and attack for extra power. I totally failed on that. You can also jump and attack, and that gives you extra power. There, you just did that running attack. That's how you do the jumping one.
And then also the experience orbs, you get that from defeating defeating uh, mobs. You also get from passive mobs, I think. Like cows and pigs and I haven't seen any chickens, which is actually kinda weird, but I'm sure they're out there. Uh trying to think if there's anything I'm missing. Uh let's see. I think I think that's really all I found for now. As I said, I probably won't be using this world in the let's play. Um, I'll just do another one because I don't really like this one all that much. Gunpowder, awesome. That's too far down. <sighs> so, I guess that's it. I'm going to go to bed because I am tired. I'm so tired. I've been up all day since 10.30 in the morning, and it's now 12.07. What is it? Is that one and a half hours? That's way too much for me. So I'm going to go to bed, and if I find anything new that's worth showing you, I will do that today or tomorrow or Monday. Um, but, yeah. So I'll probably have a video out actually Monday at the latest. Uh, Monday I will when they release it I will you know start my new world like I said. But until then I'm going to sleep. So good night. I will see you guys in the next video.